Hello, this is C.W. Johnson Jr. When recording a monologue, where we look off camera can affect how the emotions in the monologue are perceived. To demonstrate this, here are two recordings of Tom's final monologue from Tennessee Williams' The Glass Menagerie. In one of them, I'm looking far off to the right. In the other one, I'm looking halfway between the far right and the camera lens. Please let me know which one you think is best. Thank you. Have a wonderful day. I didn't go to the moon. I went much further. For time is the longest distance between two places. Not long after that, I left St. Louis. I descended the steps of our fire escape for the last time. From then on, to follow in my father's footsteps. Attempting to find in motion what was lost in space. I traveled around a great deal. The city swept about me like dead leaves. Leaves are brightly colored, but torn from their branches. I would have stopped, but I was pursued by something. It always came upon me unawares, taking me altogether by surprise. Perhaps it's a familiar bit of music. Perhaps it's only a piece of transparent glass. Perhaps I'm walking along the street at night in some strange city before I found companions. And I passed the lighted window of a shop where perfume is sold. Windows filled with tiny bits of broken glass. Tiny transparent bottles of delicate colors like that of a shattered rainbow. Then all at once, my sister touches my shoulder. I turn around, and I look into her eyes. Laura. Laura. I tried so hard to leave you behind me. But I was more faithful than I intended to be. I reach for a cigarette. Run across the street. Go into the nearest movie or bar. Buy myself a drink. Talk to the nearest stranger. Anything they'll boy out your candles. For nowadays the world is lit by lightning. Blow out your candles, Laura. And so, goodbye. I didn't go to the moon. I went much further. For time is the longest distance between two places. Not long after that, I left St. Louis. I descended the steps of our fire escape for the last time. From then on, to follow in my father's footsteps. Attempting to find in motion what was lost in space. I traveled around a great deal. The city swept about me like dead leaves. Leaves are brightly colored, but torn from their branches. I would have stopped, but I was pursued by something. It always came upon me unawares, taking me altogether by surprise. Perhaps it's only a piece of transparent glass. Perhaps it's a bit of familiar music. Perhaps I'm walking along the street at night in some strange city before I found companions. And... I passed the lie window of a shop where perfume is sold. Tiny bits of broken glass. Tiny transparent bottles like of delicate colors like that of a shattered rainbow. Then all at once my sister touches my shoulder. I turn around and I look into her eyes. Laura, Laura! I tried so hard to leave you behind me, but I was more faithful than I intended to be. I reach for a cigarette, run across the street, go into a movie or a bar, buy myself a drink, talk to the nearest stranger, anything they'll boil your, your candles. For nowadays the world is lit by lightning. 
Pull out your candles, Lara. And so, goodbye.